Hello, my name is Angela Chandler and I'm here with you today from Nye House Education Center. Thank you for joining me. If you're not familiar with Nye House, our mission is literacy success for all. When you hear of us, you probably associate us with dyslexia. We don't just work with children with dyslexia. We train teachers. We work with parents. And that may be many of you during this time. We're here to help you. We also have um, adult education classes. So our mission truly is literacy success for everyone. I'm coming to you today with a quick tip. It's really exciting. We have something available to you on our website and it's absolutely free. You're hearing me correctly, it's free. Those of you who have children or students who have taken our, um, whose teachers have taken our classes at the center, we have our language enrichment class and our um, basic language skills class, which includes the colors and shapes of language manual in the curriculum. The good news is right now, we have the Colors and Shapes of Language 2 available for free on our website right now. Let me tell you how to find it, and then I'll tell you a little bit more about it. If you will go to www.nyhouse, that's N-E-U-H-A-U-S dot org, hover over Educators, click on Lesson Plans, and scroll down until you see oral language and listening comprehension. Then you'll see colors and shapes of language two. There are several units available. If you click on the first unit, you'll see that it is a unit about butterflies. Each unit takes you through um, activities which include naming, another day describing, the next day, uh, maybe listening to a story and answering some questions. We walk you through summarizing what was heard. And then we move into um, the different types of writing. You'll be able to guide students through different types of paragraphs. And I'll tell you a little bit more about those different types of paragraphs. But the first couple of units in this uh, manual are butterflies than dinosaurs, and kids love learning about dinosaurs. So um, just to let you know a little bit more about oral language and listening comprehension, um, teachers know this, but parents, it's important that you understand this as well. At home, you talk to your children all the time, and I didn't really understand how important conversations and vocabulary are to reading. They're not two separate pieces. Children who have a strong oral language foundation, they can develop really good reading comprehension skills. So these manuals will help you instill that in your children. This is our Colors and Shapes of Language um, manual, our first volume. We deepen their understanding of oral language and listening comprehension, and again, this impacts their reading comprehension. You'll learn how to build these language skills and how to teach children to summarize using um, what we call the five W's, the who, when, where, what, and why. This helps when you're summarizing a narrative passage. A lot of our fairy tales, you can read your students or your children a fairy tale and help them summarize what they read using those five W's. In the manual, you'll also find um, that uh, there are expository or informational passage passages, and they're a little harder for our students to summarize. So you'll learn how to guide them through summarizing using a card pyramid. Even my middle school students loved building a card pyramid, and it helped move them into writing. If you would like to learn more about this pass the about this manual, it's available on our website. For purchase, it's under our um, online classes, and it's oral language and listening comprehension. You'll see that there's different units. Once again, we've got naming, describing, listening, answering questions, maybe listing, and moving into writing. Some of the types of paragraphs um, that you'll hear about in our manual or in the class are um, how to write a narrative, how to write an expository passage, a process paragraph or a how-to. 
maybe a persuasive paragraph. If your child is trying to persuade you to do something with them right now, take them through the units, have them write about it. You can even write your own units, such as maybe, um, I don't know, things to do around the home while you're out of school unit. Maybe types of vacations you might want to have once you're able to go out and about again. You'll also um, learn about maybe writing a journal entry. Um, these are all very helpful. This class is available for purchase on our website. It's Oral Language and Listening Comprehension. It's an online class, so you can move through it at your own pace. But our Colors and Shapes of Language 2 is available to print on the website, and it's absolutely free. If you need any help during this time, you can email us at info at nighthouse.org. We're happy to help you in any way we can, and thank you for being wonderful um, educators and parents during this time. We wish you the very best. Stay safe.